Hello and welcome to the Tech and Auto Show, a web exclusive that's powered by News18.com, where we get you the best from the world of gadgets, gizmos, and automobiles. I'm your host Siddharth Sharma, and let's give you a glimpse of what we've lined up for you guys on this episode. Okay, now that we've given you a glimpse of what we've lined up for you on the Tech and the Auto Show, first up, Debashish is joining me. And why he's here is because he's a big Android fanboy and we are trying to answer this question to you. Which one is better if you have almost half a lakh rupees in India? The iPhone 7 Plus or the Google Pixel XL? Google Pixel XL comes with a unique uh, glass and metal combination which I have never seen before actually and it's, it's pretty unique and it's pretty cool. I don't dislike the design of the Google Pixel XL but when it comes to the new two blacks of the iPhone 7 Plus you know you really can't go classier than that and plus on top of it now it is water and dust resistant. Does the Google Pixel XL have that? No, it's not water and dust resistant but and you pay half a lakh for it. And talking about the black, I can see a lot of fingerprints smudges all around the phone you know that's the jet black if i'm not wrong yes so that's that's probably the you only see it's bad so part. clean you know i'm touching this for quite some time you can see the difference over here so yeah i completely agree with debishish over there uh, of course it's a fingerprint magnet but if you want to buy an iphone 7 plus buy it in the matte black finish the real black finish or whatever the apple calls it uh, but design wise i think both the phones are pretty awesome in their own uh, perspective it totally depends whether you want that extra waterproof feature or not yeah i give it to you back <laughs> so apple's infused a new uh, a10 fusion chip on the iphone 7 plus it's faster than the older iteration and of course the, with the new ios 10 operating system it is seamless uh, talking about performance whenever it comes to you know flagship devices like these performance is usually not an issue you know as with all android phones i will not go on the spec sheets i'll not talk about quad core octa core ram rom nothing i'll tell this is the best of Google. Mm -hmm. It's one of the smoothest Android phone I've used in a while, I would say. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Performance-wise, gaming-wise, I think we can both agree that both the phones are powerful enough. No doubt, no doubt about that. Apple, I really did not like the fact that they went ahead with the same display that was there on the 6S Plus. Uh, of course, it gets your cool features like 3D touch and all, but that is something that even the Pixel XL has borrowed this time around. Uh, so display-wise, it's quite bright, it's clear, and uh, it's great for watching movies. You just talked about the 3D uh, display, right? You know, Apple, when they introduced the 3D touch thing, it was such a big thing. Absolutely. It's like a 3D touch. It's just a software thing, and everybody has it now. So yeah, okay, fine, but the display uh, quality it on the Pixel XL? It's, it's amazing, I mean, it's outdoor visibility, if you're working under direct sunlight, it's awesome. I mean, it's one of the best displays. And it's definitely better than what you get on the iPhone 7 Plus, even I agree on that. Mm. I wish I had that display on the iPhone 7 Plus. I would. I really love the new Google Assistant yeah. in the new Pixel XL, it really gets your job done very easily. And I know for most uh, Indian users, it's like you have to talk to your phone in proper English, but you have to do that for your iPhone as well. But you know what the fun part is that I still can download the Google Allo on the 7 Plus. So technically on an iPhone, I would have two assistants instead of one. So that means despite having the CD, you want the Allo. Oh, that's interesting. Google's ecosystem in India is far greater and stronger. And you know, you get accurate results compared yeah. to CD. That's kind of true and Apple still needs to fix those Apple Maps in India and we still it, use it Google Maps It can't be uh, Google Maps at all at this point of time. The camera, if you read articles everywhere in India, they say Pixel XL has got the best camera everywhere. I beg to differ. I would say that it's got the best Android camera. Android smartphone camera, but if you talk about the overall smartphone camera experience, I would still say the 7 Plus has got the better camera. You know, you're talking of dual lens, right? Yeah. So Apple has really get two lenses to give you that kind of image. Uh -huh. And uh, the Pixel is just give, doing it with one lens and it's indeed the best camera. But don't you think Android the portrait lens. mode actually kills everything? I would think that. <laughs> the portrait mode does. It does actually. 
So camera wise, Apple's also bumped their specs and Pixel offers a very good camera. So let's just uh, agree to disagree over here that uh, the Pixel XL has the best Android smartphone camera. No in the doubt market. about that. And uh, the iPhone, just because it has a cool portrait mode, has the best camera out there among all the smartphones. Uh, Apple has really optimized the battery on the 7 Plus and it easily lasts you a day. Uh, but Pixel actually... One and a half more. days. One and a half days. One and a half days minimum. So, so Apple really has to work hard probably next year to improve the battery life further on the iPhone. But for now, if you want a longer lasting battery phone, the Pixel, the Pixel. XL definitely your choice. So that was our breakdown on both these smartphones and the biggest question still lingers that who should buy what? So who should buy the Pixel XL Devashish? So if you're looking for the simplicity of Android and if you want to be in the Android ecosystem, the Google Pixel XL or the Pixel for that matter is the phone for you. And on the iPhone 7 Plus, I'd just like to say this iPhones always had an aspirational value in the Indian market, you know, and Android, everyone in India has an Android. If you already have the 6S or the 6S Plus, then the reasonable upgrade would be a 7 Plus and not an iPhone 7 because it's almost similar in terms of specs and experience. Uh, but if you have that aspirational value ka kida inside you, then you should definitely go ahead and buy the iPhone 7 Plus. Now the Indian auto manufacturing industry offers you a lot of features in their car but one feature that they are very bullish about is the automatic transmission and many Indian consumers are a little hesitant also to switch from a manual transmission car to an automatic transmission vehicle. Maruti is of course leading the way with the AMT transmission and up next Manas Sinha tells you what are the things that you should keep in mind while driving an AMT car. Automated manual transmission gearbox or simply AMTs are getting increasingly popular in India simply because they give you the best of both worlds that is manual and automatic transmission. Derived from the holy world of Formula 1 and first made available on road going cars by the likes of Ferrari, it is now available in affordable passenger cars like the Maruti Suzuki Alto K10. 1. Your left foot is dead foot. Make sure you use your right leg to operate the brake and the accelerator for better moderation, especially for those people who have learned driving a manual transmission car. Never try to launch the car by revving it before you put into drive. That makes the engine spin faster than the transmission and that puts unnecessary strain on your drivetrain and you don't want to be doing that. Modern AMT gearboxes come with three functionality that roll off the car from a standstill by itself, although do not rely on that completely and give it a little bit of gas so that it's easier on the drivetrain. When your vehicle is not in motion, like for example at a red light, make sure you put it into N and not in drive. Why? So that you can increase the lifespan of your transmission. Given the rising demand for AMTs in India, they are here to stay. So the next time you drive an Alto or a Ferrari, you know what to do. Now that you know what all to do while driving an AMT car, up next on the show we have a banker. Now what's a banker doing on a tech and auto show? Well, he's a passionate bike builder as well. And up next, we tell you his story of how he converted his big old classic Honda Blackbird into something which he now likes to call the Airbender. Three years of my time, <laughs> that's the price. I haven't done a calculation. I named it the airbender, uh, somewhere down the build. Uh, it tends to bend the air, the fairings are off. The Blackbird is originally a hyper-tourer. Um, this category is easier to understand the Hayabusa, the 14R and the Blackbird. Right? These were the three primary hyper-tourers in uh, the early uh, 2000s all the way through the 2000s. 
सो द ब्लैक बर्ड वॉज अवियर इट्स टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव के जी ड्राई वेट बाइक so with uh, uh, passing time uh, there were lighter bikes available so i believe that i could create a blend of a hyper tourer with a 1 liter bike something that is quick around the corners that is uh, great in braking and is stable at top speeds so to be able to merge that together and create something is what my effort was from the headlight unit to the console to the exhaust system to the cooling system to the seating system all the way up to the rear hugger um, i think besides the tank the power house of the bike and uh, the rear alloy and the swing arm pretty much the entire uh, motorcycle has been redone it's not uh, uh, something that's been earth moving okay it's uh, uh, been affordable but yes it's taken a lot of time i've yet to get the pieces together and how much it cost me but yeah 3 years of my time is uh, i think where the real price tag is now vikrant is not a modifier what he is is a bike builder there's a difference guys but talking about modifications in india recently a lot of modular phones have come up and next up on the show devashish gets you the review of one of the most anticipated modular phones in india the moto z <laughs> If you were not much excited with the first modular smartphone, the LG G5, then brace yourself for a delightful surprise from Motorola. Yes, we are talking about the new Moto Z, the first truly innovative modular smartphone. The Moto Z is one of the slimmest flagships, featuring a stainless steel back in an aluminium frame that packs in impressive hardware. It's simply beautiful. The major highlight of this device is this Moto Mod connector. This port opens a new world of possibilities for smartphones. and Motorola has just kick started the game with four Moto mods. There's the InstaShare projector which converts your Moto Z into an actual projector. You also get a JBL Sound Boost mod to help you enjoy your music. The Moto Z excels in modularity. You can use these mods in real time without restarting your device every time or installing additional apps. It is seamless and you will love it. The device is aggressively priced at rupees 39999. The 5.5 inch Quad HD AMOLED display is pleasing, while on the camera front, the Moto Z is bound to impress. It is powered by a Snapdragon 820 processor with 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB of internal storage, and performance is of course not an issue. The best part of the device is the fact that Motorola has integrated the entire Moto Mod experience within stock Android Marshmallow itself. Overall, the Moto Z is the best from Motorola for this price. Due to its slim design, it can accommodate only a 2600 mAh battery that only offers an average battery life of maximum a day. Also, the mods are very expensive, which might make people think that they are better off buying universal Bluetooth accessories. The Moto Z with Moto Mods is futuristic and offers convenience. However, a lot depends on whether consumers are willing to shell out that extra buck for the mods. And that's about all the time that we have on this web exclusive tech and auto show that's part by news18.com. If you have any comments, queries or suggestions, feel free to comment below. We'll try to get back to you on that. You can also follow us on Twitter all you techies out there. You can follow us on at the rate news18tech and all you petrol heads go ahead follow us on Twitter at the rate news18auto. We'll see you same time same place next week and of course on this web platform because who likes to watch tv these days